I'm Jenny Eagle, reporter for LEA, and I'm here with Brendan Forbes, who is the technical director at Alatath. Brendan, how long have you been with Alatath and what does your job involve specifically? I've been with the company now just coming on five years. My previous history and the working history has been in very similar roles in the lifting industry. So my role is quite broad based. I'm the technical director for the group, but I also take on a quite a bit of operational roles, different entities or, or different parts of the company. So my focus is on oil and gas maintenance contracts and, and developing the engineering and technical function around the group. And of course, you're in a great area in Aberdeen. Well, yeah, that's, uh, I've been here for, I guess, coming on 20 years actually in Aberdeen. So, I mean, it's always been a major centre for engineering roles and technical roles in general. And we've gone through in the recent past, you know, a mix of ups and downs, I guess, with the you know, outlook of industry, transition to renewables, what that means for people coming through for the next generation. And, and I think to some extent it's it's perhaps spooked a, a few people that maybe there isn't going to be longevity in here, which I don't agree with. So it's prompted me and then and plenty of others, I'm sure, to, to realise we probably have to do quite a bit more to, to plug the skills gap in general and also covering the gender side of that. And that moves into the fact that we recently celebrated International Women's Day and we spoke to one of your colleagues, Gisela. How do you feel about encouraging more women into this industry? Well, I mean, it's obviously key. It's key that we we have a diverse workforce, but we've, and, and there's been efforts, a lot of efforts over the years to, to to try and boost that. And you see in the numbers and the statistics that, you know, there's been quite a lot of success in that side. But, um, but, but the bottom line is we need to encourage more women in there. We need to showcase people like Gisela in our business who have, you know, who have come in, who do a really prominent role and absolutely critical role in our company and to show that there's multiple different pathways it's not just straight up engineering roles there's other technical stem based roles you can come in and do we recognize that we we need to do a bit more of that to attract people into the company as we continue to grow ourselves you know and what are you working on at the moment well to be honest we're introducing more apprentice schemes scholarship schemes we're we're going to try and look at what we can do more with the you know taking industry into education a bit more and, and showcase what we do there's plenty different things I'm sure we can do, but we're going to focus on that side. I don't see as many female applicants coming in when we've got jobs, which perhaps shows that we're not showcasing ourselves well enough, but equally it's it's possibly just that there are so many people recruiting at the same time, there's more roles available, so we've got to show people what, we, what we're what we offering. And it's interesting when we talk about the future market opportunities, where do you see this industry going in the next five years? It's buoyant. The oil and gas side perhaps will go th- continue to go through some transitions, but it's not going to wait. It's going to be here for a long time. We focus on energy in general and, and marine transport industry. So, you know, our, our spread of activities across the ports markets and the subsea, the traditional marine markets and oil and gas markets. So anyone coming into our business gets exposure to all these different areas where one may take a little bit of a dip, the others pick up demand. So from our point, it's, there's, there's a, whole, a whole lot of opportunity for people to come in and, and do well and have a fulfilling career changes have you seen since you started in this industry to now? Well, I actually came in through a graduate program with my employer at the time, and it was and it was a fantastic program. And, you know, we try and replicate certain elements of that in, in, in what we do. But it, it, there was always a focus on giving people exposure to multiple different parts of the business. And, and, and by, you know, um, by fact of that, you ended up being quite a kind of rounded skill set. And, and we used to try and get people out to site a lot more, not just sit in the office, not just sit behind technology, actually be in a workshop environment, be in a yard environment, be in a site environment. And then Alatas, we're, we're very, very good at, at, at achieving that. And it's, and it's actually probably a little bit easier for us to achieve that because we have access to the ports market where you don't have to have your certificates for going offshore or you can attend a vessel that's in dock and get exposure to these different things in a controlled environment. So we've moved more from from that, I guess the, the focus on being out there and doing things to sitting a lot behind technology, and there's obviously reasons for that. But I don't want to lose sight of the fact that you know there's no substitute for seeing things firsthand, and we 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 still promote that wherever we can. And so, what's next for you? Well, we're we're a growing business. We're growing across markets and and across regions. So we'll continue to develop our technical base here in Aberdeen, but equally in a lot of our other key critical locations around the world, we're doing similar programs and projects So to try and boost the teams over there. So what we learn in one area, we'll look to take into another. And we're really looking at, as I say, taking you know, apprentices, graduates and, and cross-skilling, of course, from other industries where we need to support everything we're doing. And are you taking part in any LEA events this year? 
will be taking part in Global Lifting Awareness Day. There's a good chance we'll be attending LiftX this year. So and we're, we're, we'll see what else we can cram in at the same time. Well, thank you very much for your time today. Thank you. I'll to speak to you.